Good evening. Thanks for your company. The UK's biggest celebration of black music and culture is taking place in Sheffield this evening. The Music of Black Origin Awards, or the MOBOs, are taking place in the city for the first time. It's the 26th year of the awards and only the third time they've been held here in Yorkshire, having been held in Leeds twice before. Mark Ansell has been on the red carpet for us. Yes, the glitz and glamour of the MOBO Awards has finally arrived here in Sheffield. As you can see, the red carpet behind me, we've had the Sugar Babes coming through and Jessica Ennis Hill too. But the MOBOs are about so much more than just the awards night. All this week there have been a series of fringe events and there was one earlier at the Winter Garden in Sheffield. Plus I'm driving down the road in a black tie Ferrari. Hop out of that and join the after party. Got my suit, got my tie, got my J's and that. My sugar coming at you with a lyrical attack. Theo struggled at school, but music is helping him turn his life around. He's mentored by tracks at Sheffield Music School and has been performing at a MOBO Awards fringe event at Sheffield Winter Garden. When you don't want to talk to people, you can get it off your chest or you, you don't even have to write about your stress, you can just write and it makes you feel better. And what do you make of the MOBO Awards coming to Sheffield? I think it's absolutely amazing because obviously it's been everywhere but Sheffield now it's, it's so close we can, it's on our doorstep basically. The way he expresses himself, he would never sit down to write a story or write an essay about it for example but he's really good at poetry, he's really good at freestyling actually on the spot. School children from across Sheffield teamed up to perform a song called Blinded by Your Grace. been so emotional watching the young kids performing Stormzy's track and knowing every word. Um, for me, bringing together different cultures and nationalities, you know, to celebrate black music and culture, what could be better? It's so empowering and it's something I wished and hoped for as a young girl growing up, trying to figure out my own identity in the world. The MOBOs have taken over Sheffield. There was also a fringe event at the Crucible Theatre on Monday. But at the Winter Garden today, big name in grime music, Bugsy Malone paid a visit and was impressed. What they're doing there is not easy. And in life sometimes achieving something on the other end of actually getting through it, you grow as a person, you know? So to see them get up there, even I've been nervous to stand up and um, perform. Seeing is believing, and these children have been inspired. Mobos are about more than just the music, and one of the award winners tonight is the Olympic champion, Sheffield's very own Jessica Ennis-Hill, who's receiving an award for paving the way. We caught up with her a little earlier on the red carpet. Oh, it's incredible. Like, I love the MOBOs and for it to be in my home city is really special. So, and to be getting an award as well, like an absolute bonus. And, and you follow the MOBOs you mentioned over the years. What is it about the MOBOs that you enjoy? I think it's just the selection, like the, the talent that you see from, you know, young artists coming through, but also well-established artists. Um, I think the breadth of what the MOBOs offers and the fact that it's coming to different cities as well, so that cities like Sheffield can have a little taste of, of the MOBOs is, is amazing. I presented a award at the MOBOs many, many years ago, um, and that was just such an incredible moment, but to actually be receiving the award tonight is, um, yeah, very, very special. Tell me the award you're receiving. I'm receiving Paving the Way Award, um, so I just feel, yeah, very strange to be, you know, going on stage with all these incredible artists in the world of music but being able to you know, talk about the importance of sport and how my journey has hopefully inspired other girls to get involved in sport and do something similar is um, an amazing opportunity for me tonight. We've also caught up with Munya Chihuahua, the comedian who went to university in Sheffield. He's loving being back in the Steel City. Munya, what's it like to be back in Sheffield? You went to ah, university here. Brilliant times, my friend. You know, I forgot. When you come to Sheffield, you have to get used to walking upwards. Everything's up a hill. They, people are saying, well, you know, Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in the world. Have you been to Sheffield? That's what I always say to people. So the hills are a bit of a blast from the past, but it feels good, man. And it's nice to just be able to see two of my sort of favourite things together. You know, I've always loved music. 
when I was at uni here, I had a show, uh, you know, on the student radio station, playing this kind of music, and now they're all here. So it kind of feels very surreal, but I'm happy and pleased as punch. So the Mobo Wars has brought the spotlight on Sheffield. They're going to have a cracking night tonight here at Sheffield Arena, and we'll have loads more from the Mobos on Look North tomorrow at 6.30.